Hi and welcome to Python tutorial of the various arithmetic operators. So let me start by selecting an operator. So right there, select an operator. Let's say we're selecting the addition. So press enter and let's add a number. Enter the second value and right there. So the system will also is also asking you to consider if you want to continue or not so if you want to continue all you need to do is to select a little while and the process continues so what i'm going to do now is to take you straight to python and we develop a new a new tutorial so let's click on file new and right here let's close this right there let's go for we create a function and this function I'm going to call my function let's say function let's call it total so that will be the that will be the name of my function I'm just going to call it total and that's it the choice is here as well, whatever you want to call the function right that's the name of my function that should be column not semicolon and inside this function I'm going to have a variable I will call sum up sum underscore up equals let's say equals input as a method to take in value inside Python right so I would like you to display as follows let's go for and let's ask the system to select an operator you would like to use all right so below let me enter my operators as you can see they are all in bracket here and if you like you can just close your bracket there so in here let me add my operators let's space the whole operator apart so that is new line that start from new line and backslash t that means tab so i'm going to go for addition is let's go for t t tab tab is that that is a addition so for division or subtraction, let's go for subtraction this time around. I've just copied that and I'll change it around. It's supposed to be is. Okay, this is going to be subtraction. And that's modulus. Then uh, maybe we should go for another one. I'm going to call that exponent. That should be the T. Exponent is and that is this will be modulus let's change the sign let's put in now this is division let's change that to division sign multiplication sign and subtraction there we go all right now we have all our various arithmetic operators in, pl in place the next thing is let me declare two variables here the first one is known as first name so i'm going to say input as integer input okay let's say enter enter your first number all right close that up and i'm going to just copy this let's copy that and that will be for the second number and here will be second and this will be second value as well right now let's use a conditional statement that is meant to be an if statement if sum up 
and that is the variable right up there let's copy paste it if sum up equals equals this operator plus then we want the following to happen I would like the system to print so let's ask it to print out the values that are entered so the first thing to do if you want to print out the value is to enter an iPhone and coil braces and plus coil braces so that should print out the value that you enter and then equals that dot format and what are we formatting what we're formatting is going to be first number and second number so you can copy if you want just copy paste it in there comma second number paste that in there and just close your close your bracket now what else do we want the system to be able to do for us? Let's get rid of this. It's not meant to be there. Okay, that's fine now. So we also want the system to then add up both values and just display it. So I'm going to copy that again, paste it right here. All right, that's fine. Cover this up again. All right. So I want you to add up these two variables for me. Get rid of that and enter the operator right here that that will be used okay else else if if the other up type of operator is selected so let's come in here and say else is that the else if if it's subtraction that becomes subtraction there copy that again and that will be for let's say we have the next one is multiplication and that will become multiplication so I guess you guys get the whole idea so I'm just going to add up the other two operators and speed that up and there guys However, supposing the user select the wrong value, we need to do something about that. So let's come in here. Now that all the operators are in place, so let's enter in here. Else. I would like the system to display as follows. Print. So what shall we enter? I say, please. enter a valid operator please enter a valid operator and there we go there yeah, that's good enough for me so let's take it up so that you guys can see it so if I decide to run this program now but before that we need to close everything it's called total so let's grab total come right down here paste it there and first thing before we can try it out let's save it go to file save us so I'm just gonna call it there that's the name of my project simple calculator that's fine click on save and let's try it out now all right come into run the program and there we go there's two errors here we need to sort that out so the first thing the system would like us to do is to select an operator so select that enter a value and enter another value there we go however supposing our user would like to continue so let's come in here i think this space maybe we should get rid of them 
so that we have enough room but you now know how to create space so that is the sign for space get rid of those and there and here we have excess amounts i think we also have an excess here get rid of that those two and run it again make sure it's saved and there we go that's much better and select an operator maybe we should add an instruction here that asks the user to select an operator so let's come right underneath here and just enter select select an operator and let's add let's ask it to go down a little bit yeah right so let's save and run that again there we go select an operator the operator in this case opposing is multiplication and enter whatever you want to multiply and there we go okay like i said earlier supposing our user would like to continue so in that case let's declare or let's create another another function on its own so that very function let me call it let's say function to find a function let's call it try again that's the name of my function let's call try again and I would also like the system to be able to call try again all right so we'll get to that in a short while but try again should be right inside all of this function so let's come down and just enter our let's start with call function let's say call function equals input close that there and what do we want to enter in there so we can just enter would, would you like to continue would you like to continue right so say select y for yes So, so supposing the user decides to continue so that means here let's use another if statement here come right down here and enter as follows let's indent that first if that will be call function call function or let's say this one is okay okay that's fine call function dot in this case if it's uppercase i set it all equals equals y then we want total this very one here to take effect i'm just gonna copy that and just oh this this is not right that is yeah why the total call this very function call total else if we'll copy all of that else if if it's if the answer is no what do we want the system to do we would like it to maybe print out goodbye or have a nice day print out goodbye right else else we have to call 
try again. Close function try again. Okay, and total. Just move total and there. Right. Okay, so that means once the system, if we decide to run it again, we must be able to call this very function here. So let's copy it. Let's copy this very function and paste it right there. There. Okay, this is how the whole lines of code look right now. Let's take it to the top and bring it down. Let's bring it down. So that you can see it there and more right. Oh, those are the entire lines of codes. Take it back up so that you can see it one more time and just try it out yourself. Right. Okay, so let's run the system now. Or let's run the program. Click on OK to save. There we go. Select an operator. Let's say we want to select modulus printer. Okay, let's say we enter 89 modulus. Let's say 78 the remainder is 11 that is correct would you like to continue so let's enter the value yes there we go and the system will allow you to continue so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now bye for now